Hello, 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 all my machine heads, and welcome, welcome back to another episode of One Brother Farming, the realism experiment. Yay! Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> great mood, great mood, great mood, as usual. So, let's get it out of the way. It's often imitated, never ever duplicated. So how's everybody doing today? I'm doing great. I'm doing awesome. I'm doing fantastic as usual. So welcome back to day number nine in the books. We're going to do it. We're going to do it. We're going to get our worker cultivating. And then I was shown, which I had no idea. I have to give a huge, huge, huge shout out to South Central Wisconsin Farmer who told me there's something in this animated shed pack that I had no idea. So unfortunately, we're going to have to take a loan out, but that's okay because we're going to end up paying it back in the long run anyways. So let's get our dirty tractor going here. Uh, let's get him. Let's get the, we'll, we'll do the last pass here so that we can get him going. So how you guys doing for real? Like, how's your farms going? Uh, Wisconsin, thank you, thank you, thank you for uh, posting on the fact sheet. I'm actually thinking, this is what I'm thinking. I'm thinking I am going to start a fact page. Uh, maybe under my community page. I don't know. I'm thinking about really strongly starting a fact page. Because many of you, even though Fury was a farmer, it was a long, 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 long time ago. Many of you are fully, like, you have lots, lots of information that you just like to like to share with everybody and like to just give us all the information. And I love it, love it, love it, love it. Whether it's gameplay, whether it's, yay, why don't we do that? Why don't we do that? All right, so now, which reminds me, there he is. He's playing Farm Sim 22. What's up, South Central? All right, so we are ready. We are uh, fertilized lime, and now we are going to do a couple headlands here for him real quick, real quick and in a hurry, because then we got to take us alone and get us two buildings left for our farm, and then we will be done, 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 I do believe. I do believe, I do believe, I do believe. I do believe in spooks. I do, I do, I do, I do, do I believe in spooks. Uh, so, what movie was that from? <laughs> uh, yes, you guys answered it correctly. Now, no one answered it, so I'm going to extend the trivia question to one more day. I asked you guys, what was the first color of the merged Fiat and New Holland when uh, Fiat bought it in 1993? What was the first color? color and what was the first make of the tractor i'm gonna leave that i'm gonna keep that up there for right now right now right now <laughs> right meow <laughs> i see a lot of people playing the dlc i'm glad you guys are liking it um i'm still whoops i put my cultivator down a little late i'm still having issues with giants but if i hear back from them i might get it i might not uh, what do I got going on? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You guys all know I've been working on some mods, and I've been working today in general. What are we, what are we doing today? Oh, yeah, we're Wednesday. We're Wednesday. <laughs> I spent most of the day finishing up. I am modding a car for American Truck Simulator, a uh, late game car, because after all, the name of the game is Truck Simulator, not Car Simulator, but I figured late game when you've driven all the trucks that you possibly could do and you're full level and you're max level um this car won't even be available probably until like level 150 if not higher um because the name of the game is truck sim not bus sim not car sim not everything else like that but it would be nice that once you've had the ability to you know, drive all the tractors that you could or trucks that you could. I know they call them tractors, but all the trucks that you could and you've taken a gazillion loads and you've got every place opened up on the map and you're, you're using uh, 
coast, coast to coast or even all the DLCs that they have and you've re- driven everywhere. It would be nice. Um, this car that I have finished, it is done, it is ready, uh, will be uh, available with the passenger mod. So basically what you can do is you can role play to where you can take passengers to different areas. Like, for example, you can take supervisors or you can take employees or you can take maintenance workers. Or uh, I took the passenger mod and I edited it just a little bit. Um, That's why I can't release it. Um, And I allowed it. I changed some of the names and I put it up there to where uh, you can take them to, like, for example, if one of the runs you want to take in your local town, say you start, say, in Houston, Texas, since Texas just dropped. Say you want to take a family to get groceries. You can be like kind of like an Uber driver, and you can make three or four hundred dollars just taking them to the Walmart and letting them shop, or the Walbert as they call it. I have the I have the the things down where it's the real company mod, so it's it's called Walmart. <laughs> uh, or if you want to take them like uh, to the local Home Depot for the shopping, uh, you can also cater. With the car, you can take your supervisors to uh, a convention. Uh, local, you can pick up like uh, supervisors from like a Home Depot and take them to another Home Depot so they can have like a meeting. It's kind of cool. You can kind of role play it. But like I said, it will not be opened up for a while. Like you won't be able to just start with it. That's not going to happen. That's not going to happen. All right, so. Today, episode 9, we are going to finish him with cultivating, and we have got some couple of sheds to do here, here, uh, and then our farm should be finished. I'm going to knock on my desk. I don't know if you guys heard that or not. Gosh, I hope this farm is done so that we can get busy doing some stuff. Uh, but anyway, so I've got the modding going on as far as ATS, as far as farm sim. I've got so many mods that are going to be ready to go. It's going to be awesome. I can't wait. Oh, I forgot we did the road last time. Yeah, man. Looks a good, 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 good. Looks good. Good, good. All right. So apparently, all right. So I got to take out a $14,000 loan first. So yes, we are taking more of a loan out, but remember we, we, for some reason, we have a credit limit of uh, $10 million. So we can take loans as long as we want. The series is going to be here for a while, so we can, we'll can we be able to pay it off. Because uh, right now, we have a $125,000 loan. Well, $225,000, but we only owe $125,000 on it. All right, so construction, uh, tools, and right here. This is what Wisconsin told me about. This that matches our shed our shed 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 and we're gonna get a oh a little secret everybody if you're using the animated pack see the little gear shifter that's the way it opens so we're gonna get this as close as we can not enough money Woohoo! okay so we gotta take out a little bit more uh there we go let's see if 20,000 is enough. <laughs> Let's see. Let's see, everyone. Get it lined up pretty darn close. And there we go. And then we're going to build it for this. You come up to the icon. Uh, okay. That works. That works. Yeah, that works. So it's going to work. That'll work. All right, but this now we have a workshop, and we have even more storage. So now we have a workshop into our plans, and now well, he also showed me that. Well, he didn't show me, but I was messing around with it right here. So let's go down here and get rid of this thing here. Let's get rid of that. Nope, 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 nope. Uh, yeah. I don't think we're going to be able to. Uh, yeah, we can do it. We can do it. We can do it. There it is. All right. And we are now going to put uh, the wash station. But we're going to move this 
first. It's kind of like a, a galley type thing. Yeah. You got even more space for storage though for like bales and stuff, so it'd be kinda cool. Kinda cool. Kinda cool. That's why we left the space down here, everyone. That's why. Oh, you know what? Now I've got a place for my. I got a place for this. I hope it fits in here. Because now we can start putting some of these loose, loose wagons out of the way. Before I do that, though, let's paint away. Let's paint. Paint. Uh, yeah, we want to go to this one, I do believe. Let's make sure. Yes. We want to make sure we are using the same one. Yes, yes, yes. You guys are awesome. There we go. Perfect. Look at it. Look at it. Look at it. We know what we're doing, everybody. Everybody. Rock your body right. Back streets back. All right. <laughs> Thank you guys for the wonderful, wonderful comments. Hey, 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 hey. On a serious note, be sure you are voting. You are voting for the amazing... <laughs> mining series with my brother gutterball please 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 because otherwise there see that fits in there beautifully now i do believe this wash station uh yeah we want to go with this one is ten thousand dollars take out a little bit more loan everybody i almost sang it again <laughs> let's get them over here and let's go to the bank. The bank. Let's go 16. And construction. And tools. Boy, I tell you, thank you, thank you, thank you, Wisconsin. Because I never would have guessed this. Now, this this one is got to go like this. And this one's going to be tricky, everybody, because I can't really see it. Not enough money. How much is it going to cost? How much is it going to cost, everybody? This is crazy. Wow. All this in the name of... All this, all this in the name of progress. I left a little space, which is what I should have done on this one. But it still came out pretty good. I'm not going to lie. It came out pretty decent. There. Now, guess what we have? We have a wash station instead of that thing. This is all automated now. We can come in here with our tractor. And we can wash, 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 wash. See? See, and now we have it under cover. And we have technically another spot for a tractor. That worked out perfect. So now we've got sheds both sides. I will need a bigger shed for the harvester and stuff when we eventually get that. I also, oh, I forgot again. <laughs> Fury's brain is not what it used to be. I got to get that beet washer in here because it's going to go here. Because we now have 466 sugar beets. As soon as it produces a pallet, I'll put the pallet in the washer. And then how much corn do we have? As soon as it hits a pallet of each, we will then buy our piggies. We'll head down to the thing. We'll get our pallets. We got our water right there. So what I was thinking, let me run this by you guys and send me what you think. Uh, right here. Nope, not that. Not that. 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 Shits. There should be a barn in the American pack that I have. Drive through shelter. Nope. 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 
There should be a red barn. There she is. And that matches. I do believe that matches, right? Yes, it does. So this is what we're going to put our harvester in. And we're going to put that right here. And I want to make sure it is away from the thing. We're going to put it like right here. And this will be the final piece to our puzzle. We want to be able to drive around it. That's it. So let us get one more loan and then we will be completely done with our barn. Let's do this. Let's go to an even 50. There. Now, let's get our barn. Get her back here. Because it has doors on both sides. So, let's make sure. Uh, it's the front. I do believe you can drive through this. All right. So, we want to have a space to drive around all the way around. Because you want to come out the back end with it and drive around. There we go. Let's go check it out. And it matches within reason. And then we can dirt this up and we can put some lights in here and get her lit up and rock and roll, rock and roll, rock and roll. See, now you guys are like this. See? Now we can put our big harvester in here. We can put our bigger things that we end up with later. Like, for example, if we decide to, uh, decide to upgrade to, like, uh, Crone Big M, we can put that in here as well. We can also put bales in here if we want to. Like, if we decide to just use this for a harvester, we got both sides for bales. But we won't need it because the silage bales can sit out and they can just ferment. Because we're not going to need hay bales or straw bales or anything like that. So, now, let's... Let's paint. Let's paint, everybody. Everybody. All right. So we're going to go here, here, here. 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 Now, I want to keep... Let me get down a little closer so I can see what's going on here. Because we want to keep that ro little tiny row of grass underneath the fence. And the other thing is you can't... We don't want to paint over these yet. These hedges can be paintable. So, once you, once you get done. There. Now we'll spin her around, lift her up. Then we got to go inside. All right. You know what's cool? Episode 9, and we finally got our... Uh, one little tuft of grass. We finally got our farm done. It took me nine episodes to do it. All right, so let's get that painted in here so we can see. Oh, let's go like this. We gotta paint. We gotta open the doors. This is an awesome shed pack. I was using this on Dark Forest. Oh, I think I gotta shut this. And then open this. I know it opens over here. Right? Tell me the once, yeah, it does right there. See, yeah, that's what I thought. So I gotta close this. Oh no, no, they are correct. This side opens, but that's okay. We'll now paint it like this. We can see. We can see.
Let's go bigger so we can get in here. In here. Spin her around. Let's see, did we get it all? Oop, missed a little spot there. Missed a little spot. I do believe that's it. I do believe that's it. Perfect. Now we got a dirt floor. Perfect. All right, now we've got a little extra money. Let's put in are these open. Nope. Let's put in us a few little lights, little baby ones, like this one, right here, and right by my character. There's those two lights. Oh, we got to put some on the other side. And is that be quiet for a couple of seconds? Let's go here. That way it won't affect the door. And we'll be able to drive right around that now. And we'll put a light here. We'll put one. Nope, we won't put one there, but we will put one here. Up here. Just so we can see just a little bit. And then we're going to put one on the side of this. Wash station. And then we're going to put one here. Where our pressure washer used to be. Now we want to put one around our engines um but i don't want to cover up the let's take it over here um and that way it doesn't cover up the water or the food or the animal input um we can put one here though and then we want to put some around our greenhouse our greenhouse There, and then one coming up our stairs. So in the morning, we can see one on just the side of our garage, and we're done. There we go. Um, we should probably put a couple in here someplace so we can see when we drive around. there and then i wanted to put a couple over here so i can see when i come in my gate there and then see fury gets a little bit of money and then he spends it it's crazy that's uh we're gonna go on the inside of here so it lights up the road and one more right here there now we can get in and out it's up against the pole perfect and we can still see there we go there we go everybody and what we could do Just to be able to see the pallets. There. 
Now we're done. Perfecto. Perfecto mundo. Awesome. We are ready and our farm is 100% done. There, 100% done. Let's put you back. So the storage we have. Absolutely awesome. We have a little bit of money left over, too, to buy some fertilizer. And oh, no, I'm going to leave it because I am going to... I want to put manure in these, and I want to put seeds. Right? Ah, there's your sugar beets with just water, but we want to go seeds and manure for it. Um... Which reminds me, if I'm going to do that, then I'm going to need a little manure thingy, right? For these piggy roonies. Because where does the slurry spawn? Uh, maybe we don't get slurry. Maybe, maybe... Well, well, I'll tell you one thing. When we do upgrade to a bigger one, and remember, what we're going to do, everybody, is when we decide to upgrade our little tiny farm, we're going to start building it this way. Uh, so, like, if I want a big, bigger pig pen, it'll come down here. We'll put another shed in there to replace that. So the fences will stay. We'll just put a gate in it or something to get our bigger pig pen. Um, because we have right now, right now, we have plenty of storage. Look at bales. Seeds and fertilizer. Our tractors go here. Uh, we've got even a storage in there, which is our truck, which you don't really need anymore. Storage there, storage there, even more storage. Uh, I can put a tractor in here or a vehicle in here if I want to. Uh, and we've got storage in here. So. This is by rights. What I should do is put bales on both sides and the harvester in the middle. There. We did good, everybody. Nice. All right, let's go check on him. See how he's doing. Because I got to get that beet harvester. I keep forgetting. Gutterball, when you watch this video... Send me a message tomorrow, because I got to record tomorrow for, uh, what's tomorrow? Thursday. I got to record Thursday for Friday, but then I'm done for the weekend for this. Then we go to Two Brothers. Uh, remind me to put that in here. You sent it. You were so gracious to send it to me. Make sure it's in here. All right. He's rocking and rolling on court, 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 cultivating. And we can, we can test out our wash station. All right, so he's got just a few more odds and ends to do. Oh, uh, what can we do? What can we do? Let's go check our equipment, make sure we got everything we need. If we do have everything we need, then we can... Uh, I'm going to let him finish before we start seeding. Uh, oh, yeah. If it wasn't... If these were indoors... How much cooler would that be? And I think, I think, let me get my pallets. I can buy pallets of manure. There's my pallets of seeds that I could buy. I could buy manure by bag. Oh, there it is. There's seeds. And there's manure. Perfect. So we can buy a thousand fifty manure each time for there if we need to. Um, I gotta figure out if these produce slurry because I don't know where to get it from unless you get it from here. But that looks like water. 
There's no place for them. So they may not produce it, but that's okay. I mean, that's not what we're that's not what it's about anyways. Because we're actually going right along with this 487 just from that. So I don't know. I might not. I might not do that. We'll see. But if these were in indoors, they'd be so much better because I'd put my big bags on them. For real. Because we got four fertilizer, two seed, and two lime. We can always go buy two more seeds for tomorrow. That way we have them. Let's go. Let's go. Ooh, crash counter one. Well, everyone, welcome, welcome, welcome to the tiny little farm. To Fury's tiny little farm. It is definitely tiny and it is definitely compact, but it's nice. It works. It works for us. And everything matches. I want to take a shout out to all of you wonderful, wonderful, wonderful people. All of our wonderful family members who have said, Hey, Fury, did you realize that in the animated pack you have this that matches? My entire farm matches now. Uh, the barn's a little different color, but that's okay. We could play that off that we went to the local hardware store and they didn't even have the same paint. <laughs> so we could play that off. But look at all this that we have to mow now when we get ready. We got one more day to seed. And then one more day to roll. And then we are ready to start mowing at that point. Uh, we're, then we're going to mow this whole section here. Uh, bale it up. And then we're going to plow it. Call it the same sort of thing. So we got stuff to do. Then we're going to sell the silage bales. And hopefully, hopefully make enough from the silage bales alone to buy another piece of property so we can keep expanding and expanding and expanding but as you can see we're day nine because the only reason i say day nine is because it's eight days right now in september and we played one day in august i also for the next let's play i've downloaded the start and spring and uh i'm using it on my yukon valley personal let's play oh which reminds me you guys always ask me i like i told you i got some modding going on i've got some stuff I am doing a personal Let's Play on um, Yukon Valley by myself. Uh, 2XP, 28 day months. Uh, yeah, and that's that's a long haul. I'm about six and a half hours. Well, it just turned five o'clock in the afternoon in, ga in my game because I was playing it earlier today. Uh, big bags. We're going to go. Let's go some seeds. That's a thousand. That's a thousand. See, we, we're also going... I think we should also do chickens, too. I think we could. We could. A uh, thousand seeds. And I think we're going to have to buy two of these. Um, But, yeah. So, I'm doing that one. 20, that one's my other realistic series that I'm doing on my own. Uh, and then Gutterball and I have ours. Uh, yeah, it's fun. It's fun. But right now, I figured it out on Yukon Valley. You get about... Uh, it takes about 300,000 pay dirt to make one pallet of concentrate. So Gutterball and I are averaging 17 pallets to 18 pallets a day. So you times 300, let's say by 12, that's 33.6 million liters. And then you add five times three is another 1.5. So four point, I figured between 4.5 and 4.6 million liters twice a day so we're pulling between 9 and 10 million liters of pay dirt out of that every single month well it's in game month right now by myself I'm not doing any conveyor belts I'm not doing anything on mine it's super realistic it's like take the excavator load it in a truck take it up put it in a thing then when the pallets are full you take them to the next thing and that sort of thing 
I'm averaging about between five, 500 and 750,000 every hour is what I'm averaging. Uh, no, I'm not playing 1X speed. What I am playing is, no, I'm not playing 28 day months on that. Woohoo, I changed it. I have to fix myself. I'm playing 0 0.5 speed one day months, and I'm playing for 12 hours. So that's this would be the same as playing 24 day months. That's why I'm doing it. Uh, the map is just so big by your by myself, but it's it's really not a series that it'll never see the light of day. It's just one of those where uh, let's see, I got Gutterball and I got our series going. I got my series going here, but in between while I'm waiting, remember this is a running clock here, so I can't go and play off camera. I have to bring it right back to where we left off. So while I'm waiting, there's nothing to do. So I can't really play farm sim, so that's why I set it up that way. I set it up to where I can do some farm sim in between. And that way it's all good in the hood. Alright. Here we go. Now we got two more seeds. Then when we seed, I think that the next episode, because there's, I don't have anything left to build, let's go the next episode. I'm going to seed both fields myself or at least whatever I can for the game day. I'm going to see. I'm going to do some farm work because that's something that I have not done yet. Uh, I've done a little bit, as you saw today, cultivating. Uh, but I'd like to be able to get him, get myself going on some actual farm work. And then the next time I'll, uh, I'll roll it myself too. Which reminds me, I don't have a roller, do I? Do I, do I, do I? I do believe in spooks. Uh, that's coming right up. That's going to be playing soon here. Uh, I got my limer, my fertilizer, my cedar. My subsoiler, my mower, which, how did it end up on the wall? <laughs> I'll have to fix that when I pull this out. Uh, this is another one that Gutterball gave me, the McHale Fusion. I've used it before, but I had gotten, gotten rid of it out of my mod folder. This is going to be mowing and silage wrapping all at the same time. And then that's it. Uh, and I got my animal thing. So I am going to need... The bee harvester. And what else did I say? I got the cultivator over there now. Which we can start putting stuff over here now. So while he's finishing up. Let's get our bailing stuff moved around. Get all our field equipment over there. Oh, we have to take this weed off. Let's, let's take it off. <laughs> take it all off. A lot of people doing that DLC. I looked it up today and I was like, there must have been at least 100, 150 videos. I think, wasn't that map dropped early? Like, that map itself was dropped, wasn't it? I think so. Oof. Backed into our precious little light there. And we'll keep this side for our grass work. Uh, we also need a bale loader, but we're not going to need that right now. Because if I have to, I'll take two bales at a time up to sell them.
Yeah, I see what happened. That thing got turned around because it's supposed to be the other way. And if that's one of those creeper mowers, if you know what I mean, uh, what happens with these mowers, a lot of are these implements. I might have hit it too with the baler. I'm not quite sure. Cause see how it's put away like this. I have a cedar. Uh, I'll show you. Uh, do, 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 do. One of the original cedars that I downloaded as a mod. Uh, this one here, the Neverland DG thing. I was using this on No Man's Land. This thing here, it's awesome. It's 12 meters wide, but it uh, it only requires 230 horsepower, but it holds a lot. Like, uh, what I mean is it holds like 6,000 seeds. That's a lot. I mean, you can you can seed a lot of field away. But what happens is when you buy it and you put it down, it'll it'll creep. Like, it'll start to go... Like you see the, the, the mower, it'll start to go over time. And you'll come back and it'll be like all... Ooh, look what look what Fury forgot. I forgot a section. Ding, ding, ding. Done. All right, so we're going to test this theory. If this is the same one as this where it starts to walk, I'm hoping I only, I hoping, 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 I hit it with the uh, the baler when I put it down. Uh, we don't need a wind rower. Okay, so that's it that comes over there. So then the cultivator, I also might have hit it on the, what else I noticed is that wash thing had these things sticking out so i think i'm gonna have to fix that off camera everybody but you know what it doesn't look bad but i'm gonna fix it and bring it out a little bit more take the light out move it i'll do that off camera that way you guys don't have to watch me do it again uh yep we are rocking and we're bought some seeds we've got our fields cultivated i'll seed them myself tomorrow uh when i record so I think as soon as he's done, I think we will wrap this episode up for the day and get us to the next game day. It'll be a little shorter video today. Huh, that's kind of neat. Let's see how much more he's got. But yeah, you realize, like, uh, I figured it out. Gutterball and I literally uh, have pulled out 84 million liters of pay dirt in our eight episodes together. 84 million. And it's like we went, <laughs> on the, it's like, eh, eh. that's about how far we've gone. Where is he? Is he cultivating in the next county? Uh... Hello? 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 <laughs> where are you going, bud? <laughs> where, are you, where are you going? <laughs> okay, let's see. Let's see what he does. Uh, He's costing me money, though. Where are you going, bud? <laughs> I was stopped manually because the field is way over here. And you're just going to drive over and get McDonald's, aren't you? That was funny. Uh, something tells me i got to wash this uh, tractor. Because, uh, yeah, she's she's pretty dirty. Yeah, look. <laughs> the field's over here. He decided he's just going to take a road and just go on and get some lunch, I guess. <laughs> get some dinner. <laughs> That's funny. That is hilarious. And I guarantee you, Gutterball will be rolling when he sees that one. That's awesome. That's why I usually use course play. 
Hopefully it gets a little dark enough to where we can see our pretty little lights. Let's go down to our new wash station and get this thing purdy again. Drop the cultivator off, drop our stuff off, and we will be ready to go. This is done. Worked out perfect, see? Get about one job done over the course of a game day, which is about right. Let's get this back. Back again. Oh my gosh, there's not even any blue paint on it anymore. <laughs> She's, <laughs> she, all the paint's gone on it. I'm not worried about the paint. I just want the dirt off of it right now. Boy, they put the wear texture on this super fast, didn't they? That's kind of neat. Uh, let's go repair. No. That's kind of neat. So, how do you paint it? Oh, repaint. Ooh. 35. Ah, there she's now she's blue again. Took her nine days to wear the paint off, though. Yeah, I'm going to move that over when I first come back. Take care of that. So, here we go. We're ready. We're ready. We're ready. And we got to do this. Put him away. So, please, please, please look out for yourself. Look out for each other. And most importantly, look out for each other's family. Be sure to like, subscribe, and share, share, share. Hit the little notification ding, ding, bell so you get notified when Fury's dropping a video. Because I'm all over the place. Be sure to like, subscribe, and share, 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 as I just said. <laughs> I figured I'd say it twice this time. You get twice the fury for same fun. Uh, be sure to enjoy the night, the day, the weekend, whenever you're watching this. Um, see, that's what I like. I like to try to keep my videos every once in a while. I'll throw in something like completely different or say something twice. or do. I do it on purpose so that I can kind of keep things fresh and new. Uh, everybody's got their little sayings. I've got my intro, my outro, things that I say, but I like to mix them up every once in a while. And on that note, as soon as that hits eight or six o'clock at night, we are done. Love, love, love you all. I'll catch you all on the flip side.